I've never felt more at peace than I do when I walk home when I spend those 25 or 27 or 34 minutes. <laughs> depending how fast I walk or how tired I am. And I think and I reflect and I am totally and entirely and as Gord Downey would say, fully and completely at ease. But, <laughs> thank you. Uh, as a result of that job, I would stay up really, really late at night and I would write emails to myself. My email address at the time was ryanrocks underscore 1616 at hotmail.com. And uh, in the interest of authenticity, I will read one of these email slash diary entries to you. Today, I started my first shift at work again. Nothing too special. I listened to the Rack on Tours, Be Here Now by Oasis, and Pinkerton by Weezer. A year ago tomorrow was the Rack on Tours show at the Cool House. What fond memories. That was really an important moment for me. My first general admission show. <laughs> Being in a club like that, all alone, no adults. People drinking beer and smoking cigarettes and lighting joints and singing and clapping and dancing and pushing and shoving up against each other. And there's Jack White, oh so close. He's right there, right over there. That's him. And oh, baby, I can certainly see where he gets the last name from. <laughs> Still to this day, to this hour, to this moment, I get goosebumps when I hear those songs. Can't quite explain why. Can't quite explain why the other two albums I listened to today affected me the way they do either. Be Here Now is so last summer. My experimentations with drug and drugs and booze and partying, I uh, got drunk and smoked weed one time each that summer. <laughs> Living that rock star life for two months. <laughs> Being stressed about love and the future and all that jazz. I think that's why the music touches me so. <laughs> Maybe they're just rocking tunes. But Pinkerton, I'll never understand that CD. It's the most important musical recording I've ever heard. I'm scared to listen to it. I don't want to ruin it. It's too fucking sacred to me. These songs, they give me chills. I can't even describe the effect they have on me. I don't understand why. I don't know what they remind me of. I know they stir up memories of summer, working at the Bateses and something with Sydney. I forget what. But I think that's all just because that was what was happening when I first bought it and first heard it and first loved it. But now when I hear it, it stirs up something deeper. <laughs> My insecurities, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'm better off not knowing. Today, walking home, something interesting happened. I was reminiscing on all those summer nights walking home last year. I love the nighttime in the summer. It calms me, soothes my soul. It really does. The stars and the temperature and the air and the music and everything, it just allows me to remember who I am. Tonight was the first time I was able to experience that again, and I was enjoying it. I was enjoying it as much as ever, or maybe more, since I hadn't enjoyed it in so long. <laughs> but then I heard strange noises. I thought I saw someone in the bushes. I became very paranoid, and I got scared. I was scared. I shouldn't have been scared. I certainly didn't have a reason to be, but I was. I've never been scared walking home before. It has always, always comforted me. I've never felt more at peace than I do when I walk home, when I spend those 25 or 27 or 34 minutes, <laughs> depending how fast I walk or how tired I am. And I think and I reflect and I am totally and entirely and as Gord Downey would say, fully and completely at ease. But. 
That was in there, yeah. But today, I was scared. If I can't achieve that peace anymore, what will happen to my sanity? Thank you.